Hey folks, Tim here from Rockout Videography again, and I've got another gear review for you guys. I just recently got a pair of Harbinger Very V2308 speakers. Are they any good? Were they the right choice for me? Would they be the right choice for you? Let's see if we can figure it out. So the reason that I bought these, I want to use them as floor monitors for my PA system. And originally, I bought a pair of used ones from Guitar Center. I've had a lot of good luck with used gear from Guitar Center over the years, but in this case, not so much. When we opened them up, it turned out that one of them was damaged really badly. But I got to give credit to the staff at Guitar Center. They treated me really good. They immediately said, yeah, no problem. You know, these things, they're no good. Um, I asked them to give me in-store credit. They refunded my money, including the shipping. And brand new ones were on sale. So I just, for a little bit more, got a pair of brand new ones. Let's talk about some of the features because there's some, there's some really cool stuff about these. Channel 1 and Channel 2 accept either a quarter inch guitar or line-in cable or an XLR cable. And one of the cool features about these is this switch right here. This allows you to set the input for either mic, it says guitar, but instrument, or line. And although guitar cables and line cables can be used interchangeably, they're not the same impedance. So that's pretty cool right there. Then channel three right here does a lot of different things. This is where you can put in an aux, like something from an output from your phone. This is what controls your Bluetooth. And this will take unbalanced quarter inch inputs. You can do uh, stereo or mono with these. Your fourth column over here, this is your bass and your treble. And there's also a switch, this is pretty cool, that sets it for either upright or on its side as a monitor. And then down here are your controls for setting your output. So you can link these together. So like in my case, if you've just got a single aux output, you could go into one of these and you can go out of it to the other one. Or you can link them so that they're in stereo. That's pretty cool. Down at the bottom, you've got your power switch and it takes a standard power cable to connect it to your AC power. And these are mountable on stands. As you can see right here, they fit right on standard speaker stands. So what are these good for? Well, I wanted to use them as floor monitors, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, would these be good for like a small speaking engagement? Yeah, you could hook a mic up to them and use them for that. Okay, here's a test with the mic. And you can see a little bit of feedback about to happen right there. I'm using a Audix i5 dynamic mic. And the sound is okay. If I stay away from feedback issues, I think ultimately, yeah, these would work good for a small speaking engagement. Uh, it just, again, it depends on the size of your room. You're not really going to get an accurate representation of what's going on in my small studio here. But I think as long as it's not too big of a room, this thing would work for that purpose. And there you go. There's your microphone speaking test. Hey folks, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, you can subscribe to us and hit the bell icon on YouTube or hit the follow button on Rumble. You can also like and follow us on Facebook. If you'd like to help us make this a full-time project, consider supporting us on Patreon where we will be posting exclusive behind-the-scenes content for our patrons. Remember, the more time and resources that we have, the more content we can produce to keep you guys entertained and informed. Alright, enough of that. Let's get back to the video. Now here's another question. Could you use them as a bass amp? All right, bass amp test. I got an American made 62 reissue P bass with flats. That's just about as good as it gets, at least around here. So let's check it out and see what it sounds like. It's all right. I mean, I've got a Fender Rumble 30 here, and it sounds better, but that is actually a bass amp. I'm not sure why you would want to use this as a bass amp, but it's just an interesting test to put something through to see what it sounds like. I mean, in a pinch, could you use it? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Well, there you go. Bass amp test.
So, yeah, again, I'm not sure why you would want to use these as a base amp, but, I mean, if you're on a low budget and you're trying to find something that's multifunctional, I mean, yeah, you could do it, although, eh, it's kind of questionable. So here's the issue with these. I want to use them as floor monitors for my PA system. So I took them to band practice last night, and we hooked them up to the PA system, and they just weren't loud enough. The drummer was using hot rods and going easy on the kick drum. The rest of us had our volume turned down to accommodate that. This is something that we're working on, kind of a, a different way of playing some different stuff. But the bottom line is, yeah, they, they just weren't loud enough. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take them back. I'm going to return them. Guitar Center has a good return policy. And I'm going to try, try the, <laughs> sorry, try the 2310s. The 2310s have a couple of more SPL, which is really what matters. Again, I should mention, these things are rated at 400 watts peak or 100 watts RMS, but they're 118 SPL. The 10-inch the ones, the 2310s are rated a little bit higher, so that might work out better for us. I don't really want to go all the way up to the 2312s. Those things are actually bigger than my JBL speakers that I have back there, but we'll see. And if I get the 2310s, I'll do a review on those. So, again, uses, yeah, if you're doing like a small coffee house gig or something, these are probably going to be okay. Again, a small speaking engagement. But if you're trying to use them as uh, mains, definitely not. But even as floor monitors for a full band where you've got a full drum set and electric bass, electric guitar, keyboards, vocals, all that kind of stuff, they're just not going to cut it. You need something that's a little bit more powerful. One other thing that we need to talk about, and I know a lot of people are going to be curious about this, obviously, is what's the sound quality like on these Harbinger speakers? Are they as good as these JBLs? No, of course not. But are they bad? No, I don't think that they are. In fact, part of the reason that I decided to go with the Harbingers is that the club that we play at, most often my band, is using them as the stage monitors. And everybody in my band has been happy with them. Both my singers like the way that they sound coming through them. And that's what I'm hearing for vocals when we're playing out and gigging. So, you know what? Yeah, they're good. You just need to be realistic in your expectations. You're going to hear people in reviews talk really badly about these and say, oh, you should buy whatever XYZ brand because they're so much better. Well, yeah, those brands are so much better and they are so much more expensive. So you just need to determine... Based on your budget, what your expectations are, what do you want to get? So, again, are they super awesome sounding? No. Are they bad or horrible sounding? I don't think so. I think they sound good. And I think that for the money, they're a good buy. I hope you found this review useful. And I will see you in the next one.